Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Filled up the tank with true fuel. I bought a can at Menards a couple of years ago. It's been sitting on the shelf. And I wanted to see how it would do. This engine runs twice as good on true fuel as it did on the straight gas. So I'm very pleased with it. it did a good job. Nice little tiller. I'm not a good guy with a rotor tiller. All I wanted to do is just scuff up the surface so that I could throw some seed on it and it would have a chance of germinating. 
supposed to rain tomorrow and I decided I was going to come out today and till this up. Give the rototiller a test to see how it did. And at the same time, get a seed bed for the grass. I spent a lot of time, effort, and tractor time out here moving dirt from the back lot where the mulch pit is up here. This is uh, all the mulch that I've collected over the last 10 years living here, raking the leaves into piles, letting them mold down. It's worked out pretty well. Last year we had some grass growing, but I don't think I planted it well. This year I'm going to follow the rule book and I've tilled the surface and I'll put the seed on it and then I'll rake it out so it's buried about an eighth of an inch deep. And hopefully I'll have grass in this section. I do need to trim off some of the branches on the scotch pine over there. And uh, I think it's a scotch pine. Anyways, the long needled pine. And get that so that I get a little more sunlight down in here and I want to cut off some branches off of that big maple out front so that I get more light in underneath it. So anyways, job done and I'm happy. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.